Hello inventors, Yasaf here from Invento Experts and I'm really excited to share this expert hack with you because today I want to show you what's possible when you combine Rebu as, as a design tool, advanced design tool with Invento. And you know, to set the stage, the purpose of this tutorial isn't to walk you through how to set up an Invento site nor how to learn and, and deeply understand what Rebu does. It's about giving you inspiration. It's about showing you what's possible when you work with Rebu to design your Invento site and then, you know, uh, set you on your way so you can go and do what's right for you. And so for the purpose of this hack, I will use two questions that I've seen before, both via personal messages and in the group. And the first question is how to hide the site logo from the home page and only make it available uh, on internal pages. And the second question is how to hide navigation uh, buttons from um, lessons or lecture pages. So with, with these two um, options, hopefully, uh, you'll get the idea and, and, and how you can use Rebu not only on public pages on your website but also on internal protected pages and how to create different um, customizations, different design for different pages on your website. And first what you need to realize is that when you work with Rebu, so Rebu is, is a sort of a browser. I mean, I'm currently, uh, I have my Invento experts site open within the Rebu application and if I will go and I will simply click on a link then you will see that I can browse the site just as I do on a regular browser so this is definitely something that you can do and you can use when you try to design internal pages um, on your site so password protected or members only pages you can still create design and specific designs and customizations simply by logging into your site as I will do right now. Okay, let's log in. Just know that it may take the Rebu application a little bit longer to load your site than a normal browser. That's normal. So uh, while it works, just have more patience with it. Okay, and from here I can open any course that I want or lecture that I want and access uh, members only restricted site. So it works like a regular browser basically. So a question that I've seen in, in the Facebook group a few days ago was how to remove the navigation buttons from the top, the previous lecture and the next lecture. And, and the question was uh, if let me open the next lecture for a second. If we have a lecture page and we have the next and previous at the bottom, then there is no need for next lecture and previous lecture at the top. So the way that we do that is we go to the restyler option and then we, with our mouse, we will click on the object that we want to hide. So in this case, previous lecture and you can see the dashed border around the uh, the object so we know that it is selected so we can click on that okay and then to the left side we have all the options that we can work on now before moving forward I do want you to notice one more thing let me delete that for a second that I can click again on the element selector and I can choose multiple so now if I hover with my mouse over different objects, then you can see that now I can select more than one object at the same time. And in this case, this is really, really helpful because I, instead of removing the previous lecture as one object and the next lecture as a second object and go through the process twice, I can simply click once when I have both the objects selected and now both um, objects, the, the navigation objects, are selected and I will, will customize them uh, with a single uh, process, okay? 
So now the, the first thing that you should do is to give this customization a name so it will be easier for you uh, to recognize what it does. So for example, let me write remove nav from top bar. Okay, so I know what this process is doing. And then if I'll go to the settings option, uh, the objective is visible and I will switch it to hidden. So now I no longer have the uh, next and previous uh, lecture buttons at the top, okay? So this is basically how I would remove the objects from the top and just imagine uh, if you can do this for the buttons at the, at the top, you can do this to basically each and every object that you, that you see on the screen. You can do this to the uh, next and previous at the bottom. You can do this to the mark as complete button and so on and so forth. Just let your imagination work, okay? So this is the first thing. And now the second customization will be how to remove the logo from your site front end. And if we we'll look at that in a broader perspective, is how you can create different styling or different design to different pages. So first of all, let's go to the home page. And here the first step that we will take is very similar. We will click on the element selector and then we will click on the logo object, okay? And again, we would like to go to the settings option and make the logo hidden, okay? So now at the um, top of our website, the logo is hidden. So let's give this the name again, remove logo from homepage. And there's only uh, one little thing that we need to do at the end to make sure that it really applies only to the home page. And then uh, in order to do that, we'll click on the gear setting here. And we will make sure that the apply to all pages is off. So now Rebu knows that he needs to modify the logo setting and make it hidden only at this specific URL, okay? So now all you have to do at this point is to save your settings. And if your site is already connected with Reboot, then you can simply go ahead and upload and publish the changes, which I will do now. And when you get the message that the website is updating, you can simply close this. And if you haven't connected your site yet, then the way that you will do it is simply by clicking on the connect icon, okay? And then my preferred way is to use Reboot CDN. Simply click on the copy button to copy the code that you need to add to your website. And now go to your Invento account, the specific site that you would like to manage. And from school details or site details, if this is a membership site, member factory, go to the scripts tab and add the lines that you just uh, copied into the script section. Now make sure that you use and, and you copy to the top of the script tab. This is because if you have multiple scripts from different sources, there may be a delay. So by the time that Reboot finally loads, the uh, what your visitors will see is they will, for example, they will see the logo and then it will be hidden after a few seconds. Or if they will open a lecture page, then they will see the navigation buttons at the top and only then they will be hidden because it takes time for uh, Reboot scripts to load if they come after um, scripts like Facebook and Google and so on and so forth. So put this at the top. 
So now all we have to do is basically go back to the love live site and see how everything works. And just keep in mind that you may need to clear your browser cache in the process in order to see the changes. Let's refresh the home page. And now you see that from the home page, I no longer have the logo here. It's hidden. Okay, but if I will go to, let's say, um, the, this course page, the ultimate guide to customizing cloud for checkout pages, then you can see that I have the logo here at the top. It's not hidden. So again, the, the logo is hidden only from the home page. And if I will open my account page and I will go to any course specific page, which I will do right now, let's open the code track essential course and now as you can see I don't have any navigation button at the top and if I will go to any internal lecture then you can clearly see that the buttons aren't there there is a perhaps a microsecond that they are visible at the top for, for the first time but then they're gone so this is it for this hack and again the purpose for this hack wasn't to give you a detailed recipe on you know go and do this or do that is the, the purpose for this hack was to give you a set of tools and inspiration and, and I'll be excited and delighted if you can just go um, you know let your imag imagination fly and just post back with a comment or even a link to your website on what this has done to you and the ideas and the possibilities that are now unlocked for your website because you know how to make this combination and work together with Reboot to really customize your site to, to the best way possible that fits your website and your business. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next hack.